unless there's some huge global conspiracy, you know, the planet is warming. We're provoking an angry beast, and we don't know whether we'll get him really upset or whether he just pay no attention. Now that we've had the warmest years ever recorded, it's, I think, clear to most people that the climate's warming, but the skeptics say that warming is natural. See, the oil companies and coal companies, natural gas companies, own trillions of dollars worth of fossil fuels. If they stay in the ground, they're worth zero. They're only worth something to them if they're burned. So they own all this stuff. And anybody that thinks they're going to give up easily not burning it has got to think twice because they're very effective lobbyists and that's going to be a very, very hard battle to win. It, and it may be that we'll just end up flooding the atmosphere with CO2. During that few hundred years, if we left it there, it would pretty much de-ice the planet, would raise sea level 10 or 20 meters. It's going to eat up coastal property all over the world, and it would change the ecology everywhere on the planet. It would cause manifold extinctions, not the kind of thing we would want happening on our planet. So we're leaving our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and we're going to leave them a mess. But people don't have to believe this. And, you know, there's a lot of people who don't for a minute believe anything about global warming. And, and people like the Koch brothers are, are very clever in convincing people about things that, you know, basically are not true. They're extremely good at debating and using false information, and they know how to do it, and they know how to publicize it. People on the other side are not nearly as good at it. We certainly need science journalists, people who understand the problem and also are trained to communicate. If we do this and don't take the CO2 back out of the atmosphere, it would make the world totally different.